All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. If you need a roof, make sure you call Ireland Contracting. 1-800-NEW-ROOF is the number. All right, let's go out to the phone lines. We've got Chris out in Cannonsburg. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. Thanks for calling. Hey, first thing I'd like to say is the Penguins got to really think about coming out here and doing their job. You know, they did an excellent job last night, but they just kind of did some mess-ups there. First of all, I think at the end of the first period when it was 0-0, I think they should have started a little, a little bit by put, pulling the goaltender a, a little bit early, even though it's zero zero. But you got to come out with an attack. You got to attack, attack, attack. That's my theory. If they got to, they got to do that in the first period. They got to do that in the second period. And, you know, they can't wait till the third period just to pull the goaltender at the end. No, you got to <laughs> go out there and attack and be in the crowd. All right, one, thanks there, a lot. There's one yeah. thing about attacking and pulling your goaltender. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, you First can't do period. that. No, That's crazy. So. That's ridiculous to say that. Like Chris said, though, some mess-ups out oh, there for they the, had mess for up. the, for and the I Penguins. Felt, I felt bad for Ali Mata. I mean, it was a bad turnover at the end of the game, and I thought he was going to cry. He's such a nice kid, and then Wilson trips him afterwards, but I don't think he was going to catch up to those two anyway. Yeah, I mean, that could have been called a penalty right there. It could have been. It, it right. maybe should have been. And um, but he yeah, it was just a bad crash to the middle him. of the ice. I, I mean, he he screwed up bad. And yeah, I, he knew it, and I, I I felt so bad for the kid. I really like him. He cares so much, and he had a bad play. Everyone denies it, Ron. But I mean, it seems like that the Capitals are targeting uh, Matt Murray's glove side. I mean, that's his weakness if he if he has one. Well, I've heard that for the last three years, two years, and he's hoisted the cup each year. So yes. I don't know how much of a weakness it is. It is. Uh, some of the goals that Ovechkin has beat him there, I don't know that there's another goaltender in the world that would stop those pucks. I'm not worried about Matt Murray. I don't think he had a great game last night. I don't think he's been at the top of his game the whole postseason. Uh, but I'm still waiting for him to turn it on. I have a lot of confidence in that guy. I'm more worried about Kessel, Broussard. Those guys have done nothing. Other than the top line, they've done nothing. Yeah, you know, I was watching the Sidney Crosby interview from today's Inside the Locker Room, and someone asked him about, is there anything he's concerned about? And he said, no, I mean, we're not concerned about anything. I think that's what I like about this Penguins team. They have that no-panic attitude. They've been in this situation before. Right. They were down 2-1 to Ottawa. That's why I think they win tomorrow. Yeah, a couple of years ago they were down 3-2 to Tampa Bay and won that series. I mean, last year they were up 3-1 against Washington. Had to go back to Washington for Game 7-1. and one. This team knows how to do it, uh, but I'm just saying they better win tomorrow. And I fully expect them to do that. I'll be surprised if they don't. But if they go down 3-1, I think they're going to have a real mountain to climb. All right, let's go out to David in Finleyville. How are you doing, David? Fine, thanks. Thanks for taking my call. No problem. I just won yours and Ron's opinion. Do you, are you satisfied with the suspension that that fool uh, hit on the Wilson. Penguins yesterday? Yeah, yeah I know. think three is more than I even imagined. I thought it would be one or two. To get three, that's a pretty stiff penalty in postseason play. You know, if this is a regular season, you think, okay, maybe five games, but it's not. He could miss the rest of this season if it only goes six games. I think it was a very adequate punishment. I don't think. I think definitely an adequate punishment, but I don't think there's a place for this in the NHL. I don't like it at all. I think any shot to the head should be mandatory suspension, repeat offenders. I mean, it should be even double, tripled, and fined. They need to set a precedent, I think. Well, it, 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 definitely he's a repeat offender. He has a history. I was a little surprised that he didn't get anything after the Dumoulin hit. Although I, I had no real problem with that. I thought Dumoulin turned into him. He's chasing him from behind. I don't know what alternative he had. He lined up Aston Reese last night, though. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Yeah, I'm sure it's one of the makeup calls for the three games. I mean, it's the Dumoulin hit plus the Zach Aston Reese hit. He was injured, uh, was targeted. Right. So I think all and the think combination Mike, of both. Uh, Mike Solomon probably was smart last night. Usually, uh, I have no update for yeah. you. We'll give you. He goes broken jaw, surgery, concussion. He let the league know that he was hurting. Yeah, and he said the league has to do something it made, about it. I think it made sense for him to do that. No question. I think he is the reason uh, why that, that it was so strict of a punishment. All right, let's go out to Harry and Breezewood. How are you doing, Harry? Hello? Yeah, Harry, are you there? How are you all guys doing? Good. Thanks for calling. Hey, listen, I was just wondering, the way they're beating us up and stuff like that, I'm just wondering if what your guys' thoughts are on Let's say in game seven, we're behind. 
they just been beating the crap out of us. Our guys are just laying there. Do they go after Wilson? Yeah, um, and lose the game? So yeah, no, I don't you know, think I'll so. I'll tell you what, Wilson would take a punch in the face if, if it got a power play for Washington and they scored the winning goal. you got to be you got to play the game, and I think Sullivan is right on. And I know it's tough. I talked to Alexi uh, last night. I wrote about him in the paper tomorrow. I talked to Jay Caulfield as well. It's tough for those guys. They want to go out and protect their teammates, yet the coach is telling uh, Alexiak not to go after them. You can't take stupid penalties against the number one power play in the league in the postseason. I get that. The only way you really inflict pain on them, how rich, beat them on the scoreboard. Yeah, and and think about this. Last year, they got beat up by, what, Columbus. They got beat up by Washington. They got beat up by Ottawa, and they didn't retaliate. They went on to win the cup because they did not retaliate in any one of those games. So I agree. I agree. I think, I, I, I think Sullivan is right on. But I talked to Alexei, and he goes, it's, it, it's hard. He goes, the voice in your head is saying, get even. Yeah. Do something. But he said, you've got to be disciplined. And they were. And I thought they could have won last night. Uh, if if uh, Murray doesn't give up the bad goal to Niskanen, they probably do win. You know what? You take care of this whenever they play him the first game of the season next year or first couple games or something like that. All right, let's go out to Dan and Hi, guys. I was just curious as to your opinion on how the NHL referee on Tuesday um, confirmed the call on the ice with the goal that was not allowed. Um, more or less trying to compare it to how the NFL will come out and give an explanation and say this is why we didn't call it one way or another, where the NHL said we confirmed it. Um, just, just want to know your opinion. You're talking about the goal Sunday on yeah, Hornquist, the, not Tuesday. Yeah, the, the goal on Sunday. I, you know, I, they, they didn't make a call on the ice, no goal, and, and there was not, in their opinion, not enough evidence to say it was a goal. I think they blew that one. Uh, again, I'm not blaming that loss on that uh, play. I don't think the Penguins played well. They had a horrible first period, one of the worst I've ever seen them have in a, a postseason game. They got what they deserved. But the referees blew the call. Yeah, and if it's a 3-2 game, it's a different story. I think they blew the call, too. The ref didn't obviously see it. Hornquist saw it, um, and Sid said it was a goal. I mean, when the puck goes behind the post and you could see white in between, it has to be a goal. Now, people are throwing out these parallax views and stuff like that. It looks different from this angle compared to above. I mean, if you see white no matter what, it's got to be a goal. That's the way I see it. I think it. so, but I'm not very smart on parallax <laughs> views. views. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's what I keep seeing. All right. Um, let's go out to Rick and Butler. How you doing, Rick? How you doing? Thank you for taking my call. I have a suggestion on these penalties. Instead of giving the guy three games off where he hurt our guy for a long period of time, this guy could be out for the rest of the season. Why don't they give the guy the same amount of time off that the player's going to have the gut hit plus one day? No, I, don't, I don't like that. You know what? Okay. Uh, uh, Tom Wilson is a first-line guy. He's, he plays with Ovechkin and Kuznetsov. Now, Aston Reese moved up last night. He got promoted, I guess, to the second line. But he's a third or fourth line player. If I'm the Penguins and that's the situation, I hold him out the rest of the way. And so Wilson is out. I don't like that. I mean, I think they got it right with the three games. Uh, again, I'm pleased with that. I don't think it was going to be three. Yeah, I'm pleased with the two. I would have liked to see in the entire series. I, I do want to talk to you, Ron, when we come back about if you change anything up and um, should they mix up the lines and maybe put some of the stars on the first three lines. I'd like to hear your opinion, but we have to take a break. Back in a couple minutes right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call.